Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 49 of Let's FIFA 13 and in this episode we will pick up the team of the season Lamella, the player I've been waiting for the longest to, to get a team of the season but uh, we'll get more into that in a moment because first off I go out and play in the Bundesliga Challenge Tournament, I could still play a few games yesterday uh, before it changed to the Serie A Invitational Tournament so uh, I get a few shots in but it is him getting the first goal, he takes a shot and on the rebound uh, Robin will win the header against the Boateng which I thought was a little bit weird because Boateng is way taller but nonetheless he gets the goal and he gets another one there off, uh, off another header so 2-0 it is and I had a very difficult time breaking down his uh, Bundesliga defense very very strong and when I got my chances I just hit the post and the bar so I end up losing the semi-final of the tournament the Bundesliga challenge tournament and uh, I had to see myself defeated I wouldn't wouldn't uh, win that uh, tournament and it was about time to build a squad for the Serie A Invitational Tournament, the new tournament that is out and we already have a bunch of um and Serie A players, but we'll be looking to pick up a few more team of the season players and uh, build a squad around them. So uh, we go pick up Kalini uh, for our first centre back, and I go with a bit of a, a Juventus defence. We get Casares as a right back, probably one of the best one because of his work weights, and then we get a Basakli as our other centre back. I wanted to get his team of the season uh, version, but it was a little bit too expensive for my liking. And then we get Pascal there from Fiorentina, the team of the season version on our left back with medium medium work rates we get a Balotelli as our first striker and alongside him we will get a Di Natale so a two a quite a solid strikers there with a bit of pace on them and good is shooting and the final player of course a team of the season Lamella as I said earlier this is the player I've been waiting the longest to get a team of the season because well he is a five star skillers and he's kind of affordable because uh, Ribery way too expensive and the same thing will probably go for Ibrahimovic and Ronaldo once they get a team of the season so yeah this is the player I've been waiting for the longest and we will probably see him in a, quite a few more squads in the future but this is the squad at Juventus defense with a Machete on goal and then a Pascal from Fiorentina so a quite solid defense with pretty good work weights on them moving on to the Moving on to the center defensive mid, we do have De Rossi, which is a very, very solid uh, center defensive mid. He's not that fast, but still a very, very good defending and heading on him and passing as well. And he links nicely up with our team of the season, Lamella. And we'll quickly just convert him to a right mid because we do have a few uh, position modifiers in the club already. So he gets that nine chemistry. Then we have the team of the season, Diamante there with very, very good free kicks and all around good stats. And now another five star skiller in Rubinho and then a Balotelli. Telly and Dina Tata on the top, both of the four star skills and all round very, very solid stats. So, this is the squad we'll be using in the Serie A. Um uh, invitational tournament but first off to get the fitness up we go into the gold cup the semi-finals and we come up against a premier league squad there it's as Saeed again the first chance trying out a shot from distance but it goes wide off the post and then Ibrahimovic on the ball doing what he does best is scaling his way into the box here going past several defenders and the near post finish will make it 1-0 and we get another chance with Slatan here in the 41st minute but this time around the keeper will save the shot so we go into the second half the end of it before I really created another interesting chance it slots on on the ball a few skill moves here gets a shot in it but it is saved but um he will not clear it away probably. I pick the ball up and I'll find Asaidi a little bit past the first defender and a scoop turn to go past another one and that makes it 2-0 and I move on through into the final of the Gold Cup and I thought to myself I might as well play the game uh, to see if I can pick up the trophy and a few of the Serie A players still needed a little bit of fitness uh, to have that 99 fitness so I decided to go into the final and play that game as well and we come up against another Premier League squad and he actually decided to pause the game uh, straight from kickoff and I want wasn't quite sure what happened and I would realize it throughout um, uh, throughout the middle of the first half but uh, uh, we still create a few chances here back and forth with Ibrahimovic but uh, I wouldn't get the goal and then we go into half time and I wanted to check out what he actually did and as you can see he got Cristiano Ronaldo on as a striker and Maturidi on instead of Ben Arthur not quite sure why he would substitute off uh, Ben Arthur there but nonetheless we go into the second half and I will start getting some goals there we make it 1-0 with Diakaita from 
from the corner and then we pick up a free kick and uh, Terapt he will step up for that and as you can see here he moved the wall quite a bit uh, moving his keeper and usually it makes it very difficult to score off a free kick then but he kept on moving the wall meaning there was a bit of space to the left and that meant I could go with a driven free kick and Terap steps up for that and he will convert it to make it a 2-0 and uh, I was quite happy that I got the goal that way and then we go into the 90th minute before I create another nice chance it's Terap and SAED linking nicely up together here going both with a few skill moves and passing it to each other and in the end it's Asaidi to make it 3-0 and win me the final there but in the 90th minute he'll get a goal as well cross it in and Cristiano Ronaldo there to make it 3-1 but way too late and uh, as I said I win the final and uh, I get the trophy and now it's about time to play the Serie A Invitational Tournament try out that uh, team of the season Lamella and see how good he actually was and um, try out the other players from Serie A as well and we go into the first game and we come up against a 3-5-2 squad with a left back and right back as centre backs and I usually, at least when I come up against opponents with that, uh, feel that they are in a disadvantage. They probably have a better pace, but their work rates are just not that good. And I will make it 1-0 here with Robinho just before half time, And then we get a free kick in the start of the second half. And you can see here, all the players having extremely good free kick stats. Also, the team of the season, Lamella, they look insane. But Diamante, he is the player with the best free kicks. He hits the bar from uh, quite far out. We pick it up and uh, Lamella will get the assist there to Caceres who makes it 2-0 and that is how the game ends and we move on through into the quarterfinals of the tournament and that will be the final game of this episode we keep on going um with our side and we come up against a very very solid uh, Serie A side once again and uh, he, yeah the highlights of the first half were him getting a uh, first a Boateng send off and a few minutes later he would actually go with another crazy slide tackle uh, with Kalini and he would get him sent off as well so he that was pretty much the highlights of the start uh, of the first half giving me a great advantage and in the 45th minute uh, I would start getting my chances I crossed it in here I had hope for a little sideways uh, by still kick volley there but it ends up being a rebound goal to make it 1-0 and then the Lamella a few skill moves uh, finding Di Natale he takes his keeper out I tried to flick it back over him once again but uh, he moved his keeper back and the shot was terrible but uh, we continue on Lamella on the ball here he picks up a penalty and uh, as I said earlier the, the stats uh, on free kicks were very good and the, the penalty stats of the team is insane as well and Balotelli he will step up forward here uh, 92 penalty and uh, yeah he will go down the middle to make it a 2-0 and uh, we continue on it's Lamella on the ball here a few skill moves and I decide to try out a shot from distance because he got pretty good long shot on a uh, pretty good long shot on him but I pick up a corner and from that Kilini will make it 3-0 and in the 71st minute he decides to rage quit and that is how we will end this episode guys i hope you did enjoy it we'll have episode 50 out tomorrow which will be a somewhat longer episode maybe around the 20 minutes not too sure yet it'll be kind of like episode 100 of the first season so uh yeah look forward to that and that's all thank you for watching and i will talk to you later